just thought I'd do a uh, quick video about the Tesla. Um, it's a 2022 um, Mod 3 long range. It's got uh, the new Ryzen processor in it. It was one of the first to have that. Um, so far I have done quite a lot of miles in it now. 22,384 miles I've done since I've had it. Um, it's been... Well, that went well. My screen mount isn't quite as strong as I thought it was. The first hint of acceleration flew it straight off, but hopefully it's uh, secured a bit better now. Uh, yeah, so I've had this car um, a year, nearly a year and a half, something like that. Um, it's been amazing so far. We've done loads of road trips in it. Um, people always ask, can you like go distances in an electric car? And it's easy. Um, we last year we went to Austria um, in this. Uh, literally no problems at all. Uh, we were never really waiting for the car to charge up. Um, I wanted because I I drink a load in the car, so I'm always needing the toilet. So we just basically stopped every couple of hours, and by the time I'd gone to the toilet and come back out, the car was ready to go. Basically, so the car was virtually always waiting for us. We were never waiting for the car um you know, it was just perfect on a long journey like that especially we got stuck at dover um waiting for the ferry so everyone around was absolutely roasting we just put it in um camp mode or whatever it is and just had the air con on and just watched netflix we were really comfortable uh same on the way back when we were waiting for the, the ferry again everyone had to keep starting the cars to keep warm but again just camp mode and netflix and we were Nice and toasty, just waiting. So I know it's been perfect so far. Um, I don't think I'd change it for much else, to be honest. I've had an electric car before this. I had a um, BMW i3, uh, which was the um, battery-only one with the smaller battery. Um, so we could go and visit relatives up in York. Uh, I live near, near Crewe uh, in Cheshire. Um, and... It was about 125 miles it is to get from here to there. And in the i3, I couldn't get there on a single charge. You'd have to stop halfway. Then when we were at, the de at York, we'd have to fully charge. And then on the way back, we'd have to charge again. So it was a pain in the ass. This thing, um, the, the long range, Model 3, you can get to York and back again, no problem, on one go. Um, so the range is never really an issue. Uh, and charging with the Tesla is just ridiculously easy because you've got the supercharger network. Um, we've just been to Cornwall actually. Uh, that was 275 miles. Uh, we got there on one go. Um, yeah, dead easy. Um, so yeah, literally it's been perfect so far. Um, no issues with it. There's, uh, there's a couple of little things that need to get sorted, but they're not really affecting it in any way. One is the charge port on the back. Um, I've got a Tesla charger at home, so you just press the button and the flap opens up. But apparently it's come up on the display that if you press the flap, which you should be able to, it won't open up because that sensor's broke. Um, it's not an issue for me, but I want to get it sorted. And there's also on the steering wheel, just on the left-hand side, there's a slight bubble appearing under the, the pleather. Um, apparently that's quite common, so I just need to get in touch with them about that. I think they just replaced the whole steering wheel. I think one of the Tesla Rangers comes out to your house and um, they'll fix that charge port. I think they'll just replace the sensor in that and fix this at the same time. So, yeah, so far, absolutely perfect. Um, space in the back's fine. You might be able to see there's a big uh, baby seat in the back. Um, it is quite tight, that is. It only just fits in. Um, and then when you put... The, when we have the, we've got one of those big cots with the uh, not the cot, big pram with the, like it's like um, it's not a Moses basket. I don't know what you call it. It's like the big one though, and that bed those two combined basically fill the boot. Um, but we've just she's just got big enough now. Um, the daughter has to go into a, a pram, so now it's like half the boot is taken up. So we've got room for the other stuff as well. Um, I was thinking about changing to a Model X, possibly, because of the extra space. But then, normally, it's just me in the car. Um, I do a lot of miles for work. 
So at the moment I'm just travelling back, I've just dropped a load of computers off at Stafford, so uh, that's about a 30 mile journey. So yeah, just on the way back from there. I say so yeah a lot, I need to stop that. Oh, some modifications I've done. Very minimal. Um, the car was perfect, it didn't really need much. I was paranoid about the screen, because I saw some guy, he dropped something on it and he cracked his screen. So I put a screen protector on that from day one. Um, some people have said that the screen protector on it uh, makes the colours not as sharp, but because I put it on literally as soon as I got the car, I've never noticed, so I can't really compare. Uh, and then the other things I've done is in these storage bins, you've got one um, at the front and one under the armrest. I've just put little dividers in there, so it's not one big um, compartment. Um, and that's it, really. I was always tempted to do the acceleration upgrade. Um, acceleration boost, should I say, but I've, I've not felt the need for it yet. It's um, it's rapid. It takes a lot of people by surprise who've had a ride in it. I'd never go back to a normal car. Um, between the i3 and this, I went, I had a, a BMW 435D, um, but that was stupidly low, so I couldn't go all over the place, so I got rid of that, and I've always, always wanted a Range Rover, so I had a Range Rover for a year, the, uh, one of the L405, that was a 4.4 litre uh, V8 diesel, it was a, a great car, but I really missed electric, um, it, no one really gets it, I don't think, unless you've had a nice electric car before. It, it's just, it, it's so much more relaxing to drive, never worried about the engine or anything like that. You don't need to wait for it to warm up before you accelerate. Um, and just the cost, it, it's just so cheap to run. Um, I literally charged this up before we went to Cornwall. It cost, I think it was four quid to charge it up. We're on um, Octopus. The Intelligent Octopus, I think it's called, with Oct uh, Octopus Energy. So the it costs seven and a half p in the night. So I just schedule it to run in the night. Um, so I think it was four pounds, and that got us to Cornwall um, in that Range Rover. It would have been God over hundred quid probably. It was about two hundred quid to fill that thing, and it was about five hundred miles to a tank. So yeah, no road tax. Uh, my electric bill at homes. I think we worked out it's about thirty, forty pounds a month more, and I do over a thousand miles a month quite easily. Um, when we went to Austria, we exclusively used superchargers. Um, but then, where we were staying in in Austria, a place called Gossau, the hotel we were staying at had a destination charger. So we did three thousand miles on that journey, and it cost two hundred and forty mile, uh, two hundred forty miles. £240 um, in all in, in superchargers. So it's just ridiculously cheap. Um, great sound system in it. Can't show you that. Um, yeah, just everything about it. I absolutely love the software upgrades come through all the time. So it, it's always new stuff coming to it. Uh, the essential things, uh, they, they seem to upgrade. So now you can make the car fart remotely. And that's it. That's a needed thing for most cars so like if I'm 100 miles away from my car I know I can make my car fart on the driveway so um, essential upgrades that Tesla do that really do uh, do the job so um, yeah I've said so yeah again I need to stop that uh, autopilot works really well uh, I had a few episodes of phantom braking uh, nothing too major it seems to have stopped actually when we were going to Austria we used it quite a lot um, virtually every motorway uh, when we go to York I use it I can nearly there's very probably about 90% of the journey to York I, I can get it on autopilot now it's only at junctions and that sort of thing going there that um, you have to actually take control um, it has it's, it's normally perfect uh, it's only just going to get better because of these software updates that come out when we were going to Austria um, on the motorway or the autobahns we uh, thought we'd see if it did hit the speed limit 145 and it did, it accelerated really well um, it, 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 seemed, it, it didn't feel fast 
until you hit about 120 and then the wind noise picked up quite a bit and then it started feeling proper fast and, um, and it just stops dead at 145. My foot was like literally glued to the floor. Um, it, it, it just wouldn't go anywhere. I've got a picture of it, I, I didn't take it, the missus took it. So I'll attach that in here. It's just a picture of the, uh, the screen with 146 mile an hour, I think we got it at. Um, it seemed it, it did melt the battery a fair bit. When we looked at the graphs, it, it was a huge spike when we were sat on the limiter, but it, it, it had to be done, didn't it? Going on the autobahns, I don't know if I'll ever get on it again, so we had to try it out, see what the top speed could be. So I'm going to be doing a few more videos about the Tesla. Uh, the I've, other thing I've done to actually is change the tyres, but I'll, I'll do that in a little short about them and I'm also going to do a, a few 0-60 to tests and to see if it's actually what Tesla say it is and I'm also going to fully charge it up to 100% just to see what the estimated range is nowadays. Um, I'm pretty positive it'll still be the same. I think these batteries and these the Model 3s are, are, are very good and don't deteriorate at all or very little. Oh uh, yeah, that's a, about it. If you um, want to see more content or anything about the Tesla, just write in the comments below and I will, if needed, make a separate video about it. Um, yeah, so there's going to be more, a lot more content on the Tesla, hopefully. Um, so if you can like and subscribe, that would be brilliant. And I'll do my best to bring you some good videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.